All right, so we're back with another airport operations part 107 test prep video. In this video, we're gonna be going over two practice problems. So let's start off with this first one. An aircraft announces that they are on the short final or base for runway nine. Where will the aircraft be in relation to the airport? So just like with the previous video, which if you haven't seen, go ahead and check it out. Um, let's go ahead and highlight the important bits of this problem that we need to figure that out. So the short final or the base for runway nine, what that means is if we take a look at this diagram here, it means that we are on this final leg here. We're about to hit the runway, basically. Um, you'll also notice that within this problem, we don't say if we're right or left. And take a second to yourself and try to figure out why that's not really important. The reason why it's not important has to do with that final leg, right? It doesn't matter if we came from this direction or from that direction because we're on the final leg. We're looking the runway straight down. If we had been on the downwind, however, we would need to know if we were, you know, left of the runway or right of the runway. But since we're on that final leg, we don't need that additional information. We're on the short final, the last bit of the landing. So once again, like with the last problem, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find runway nine, just append a zero to it. So we'll be landing in the direction of 90 degrees. Okay, so we find 90 degrees, and we draw a little runway. There's our cute little runway, okay? So as we're approaching this runway, we're gonna see this number nine. So we're gonna be approaching it like this to be landing it towards the direction of 90 degrees. We could draw out the, the sort of approach where here's our downwind, here's our base, here's our final, all right? To sort of get the concept to translate from this image to that one. Um, it's not totally accurate since we don't know whether it's right or left-handed traffic pattern, but um, I mean, if that helps you visualize it, I'm gonna erase it just for now. The only thing that's important is the fact that we're on the short final for the runway. So we're headed down, we're looking the runway down. Here's a picture of what the aircraft would be seeing right now if we're looking straight ahead. So where are we in relation to the airport? In relation to the airport, which is over here somewhere, we are west of it, right? So remember our compass, north east south west so right now we are west of it because we're on that final leg we're about to land but we're not quite at the airport yet west would be the correct answer for this problem um let's go through the other answers and see why they're wrong so north is incorrect north would be true if for example we were on the downwind leg and we were following left hand traffic patterns remember left hand traffic patterns means that at every turn we're turning left so downwind means that we're following we're following the wind so if we were left downwind then our aircraft would be north of the airport but that is not true east of the airport so if we were over here that would be true if maybe we were on the crosswind leg however we are not so we are also not east of the airport we are west correct answer here is west. All right, so let's go ahead and look at another practice problem. Feel free to pause the video, solve it yourself, and then continue the video and I'll go over it. So we have an aircraft that announces that they are on right downwind for runway seven. Where will the aircraft be in relation to the airport? So let's go ahead and highlight what that pilot said to us. They said right downwind for runway seven. Remember this right is associated with the right-hand traffic pattern. What that means is the pilot of the airplane is going to be turning right at every chance they can get. So off the downwind, you can see we're turning right to enter the base leg, and then we're turning right again to enter the final leg. So that's what that right means. That suggests that we're gonna be using the right-hand traffic pattern as opposed to um, the left-hand tra traffic pattern here, where you can see off the downwind, we're turning left to get into the base, and then left again to get into the final leg, All right? That's important. The reason why it's important in this problem is now we're on the downwind leg. We're not on this final leg where it doesn't really matter where we turned to get there. We're now we're on the downwind leg of it. I have this compass here. Since we're on runway seven, what we do, we add a zero. So we get 70. So we're landing in the direction of 70 degrees. We find 70 degrees. We're trying to land there draw our runway 
So it looks like this. When the airplane is approaching this runway, they're going to see a 7 here. Now let's go ahead and draw our airplane's path. So since it's a right-hand traffic pattern, we are going to be approaching from the right. Okay, so our downwind leg is going to be like this. Then we're turning into the base leg. Then we're turning again into the final leg. If I were to label these, here is our downwind. Here is our base. Here is our final. Okay. Our plane is in the downwind leg of it. So that means that right now it's here. It is flying in this direction. And now we have everything we need to actually solve the problem. The plane is currently here, somewhere within this downwind leg. And we were asked where it was relative to the airport. So once again, we draw our little compass and we would say that the airplane is south of the airport okay because it's on that downwind leg and we're turning right so let's see if that's one of our answers and yes it is so south is the correct answer here let's go ahead and go through the other answers and see why they're wrong north is incorrect why is north incorrect so our airplane is not up here the reason why is we have the right hand traffic pattern if for example this had been the left hand traffic pattern then that means that our downwind would have been like this and our base would have been like this and then our final would have been like that where we're taking a left turn everywhere but since this was a right hand traffic pattern our airplane is not north okay um it's also not west of the airport so this would have been true if for example we were on the base leg of the descent, but since we're on the downwind, which is against the wind, we are not west of the airport either. So the correct answer here is south. Hopefully that helps with doing these airport operation problems. As I mentioned, I have another video on airport operation problems where I kind of explain it a little bit more detailed. So if you're newer to these airport operation problems, you can go ahead and check that video out. So hopefully that helps out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.